what causes the yips is having slack in the backbone between the core of the body and the extremity that it's trying to move. Welcome this afternoon to the Cliffs at Glassy. We're going to show you a little bit about how to work on your short game this afternoon. This video's complimentary to the book on the short game that you have. And we're gonna show you two fantastic drills that are also written about in the book that will show you exactly how to practice these shots perfectly. The first drill we'll show you today is the spooning drill. And the second one is the three mode drill where you hit it right hand, left hand, then two hand. That stops you from compensating. The spooning drill is an amazing drill. One of the best drills that has ever come from Gravity Golf Technology. You want to study this drill. It will, te even though spooning the ball is an illegal golf shot, it will teach you how to hit a legal golf shot with perfect power application. This green is about, uh, I'd say 75 to 80 feet long. Just by counter falling and taking a little bit of a turn with my feet. See, I can easily throw the ball the full length of this green. So you can develop sensitivity for hitting long chips and pitches and for feeling little delicate shots. Very, very critical to use the spooning drill to get perfect control of your power application. Once you can learn to, once you learn to spoon it, you set up the same way when you're going to chip it, stretch, give it a little heave, and just turn through it. And you'll feel the same thing when you chip it that you do when you spoon it. The two shots on delivery are exactly identical. The only difference is the club goes back and the ball comes in and compresses the ball. When you're hitting it with your entire body mass, you'll begin to feel that the ball will reach the target with just a fraction of the effort that you normally use when you're hitting short shots. <clears throat> you need to get out and work on this until you can feel the same thing in the shot that you do in the spoon. Your technique will be technically better in your power application that when you're spooning it than it will if you're coming down and hitting it with your hands and arms. The spooning drill will actually teach you to remain slack free as you come into your shots. When you heave it back, you must not allow the two-way stretch to come out of your backbone. If you go back and you allow your backbone to relax, immediately you put empty space back in between the core and the club head. So you want, when you heave it back, you keep it stretched, and then you just drop your arms and the turn will instantly engage the club head and it will come right down on the back of the ball every time. You can set it up, stretch it, hit it all the way down this green with no effort at all. <clears throat> Takes no more effort to hit that chip shot than what it appears. I also wanna add when you're spooning the ball, you wanna work up through your clubs from an eight iron, nine iron pitching wedge, you'll find the spooning drill to be much more difficult with a high lofted wedge if you're not applying power from the ground up. If the hands race at all, the ball will immediately roll over the top of the club and you'll lose your distance control. So work your way from the seven or eight iron up to the high lofted wedges. Your sensitivity to having perfect distance control will be absolutely awesome. You'll be amazed at the quality of shots you can begin to hit if you work on these two drills. Instead of being terrifying, will become the most favorite part of your game. 
You'll be amazed at what you can learn. Regardless of what age you are, you can develop a super, super short game. Thanks again.